parking garage in the building. Boy, Prosper over here. We, we came to church today because it's the Sabbath. You know what I'm saying? We came to church to get that sauce. Okay, so we just got done reinstalling the uh, fan shroud along with the fan, fan clutch, and uh, the uh, thermostat housing. Uh, after doing that, poured some cooling in the vehicle, and then only to find out that the actual uh, coolant reservoir tank was cracked right here. So now I uh, gotta replace the tank. So. I'm gonna show you guys how to do just that. Let go. All right, so quick overview of the parts. Went ahead and got them off of Amazon. Here we went in and uh, tried to find as best as original parts as possible. After reading a couple uh, reviews on uh, a few products on Amazon, uh, we opted in to go with the uh, OE from BMW itself. So here's the part number for that. Boom, uh, the plastic, it, it seems to be pretty durable. It's pretty strong feeling, pretty, uh, you know, nice and intact. Comes with all the fittings in the proper locations. As far as the ports go, they look nice. Here's the top, it didn't come with a cap. So I'm assuming we have to reuse the old cap. And then it came with its, uh, well, this was separate. These three parts were sold separately. Boom and boom and boom. So this is the uh, coolant level sensor that goes into here. And then this uh, reservoir is quite unique because it comes with its own in-tank thermostat. So I thought that to be pretty cool of BMW. We always know with the Bavarians, they're always very innovative and I like that. So, without further ado, we're just gonna go uh, put these, bam, 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 into here. So right now, I'm gonna show you guys how to disassemble and remove the reservoir, and then uh, we'll go from there. So, part numbers once again. That's the in-tank thermostat. That's the coolant sensor, the level sensor. This is the pigtail plug-in. And then the tank itself. All right, let's do it. Okay, so we're underneath the car and real quick, I wanna show you guys where the leak is coming from. The leak is coming from a side right here on the tank. So it's like a, a nice crack. And it's just when it takes pressure as far as vacuum pressure builds up when the car is on then it just literally pumps it out the side and that's causing it to overheat so as well as the thermostat was stuck too so went ahead and replaced that preliminarily before here um first thing you're gonna want to do is uh disconnect come underneath the car and disconnect the sensor wire that sensor we, uh, I showed you guys earlier, that's that's it right there. So you can just disconnect that. We're just gonna leave that inside the reservoir because we don't, we're, we're already gonna replace it with a new one. Um, secondly, there's a little latch right here. I don't know if you guys could see that right there by my finger, focus. Yeah, that latch, you're gonna be pulling that way towards the center of the car and that's gonna release this hose from the radiator is going to release the uh, hose um, to the reservoir itself. There's also a little clip right here, a little retaining clip. You can see the end of it. It's going to put a little uh, pick or a, a flat blade screwdriver in here and kind of pry it upwards so that you can uh, release this hose. So right now, I'm going to do just that. It's kind of hard to shoot and use both my hands at the same time um as well there's gonna be another hose back here kind of forgot to mention yeah right here you're gonna be removing that there it is so that goes that way there's a clip on that so let's just go handle that real quick and 
get back to y'all. From this side of the vehicle, I want to show you guys the latch again. Went ahead and did the, so all you got to do is slide it that way. That's it. So there it is open. If you can see that. Yeah. So just slide it towards the middle of the car. So you're sliding it that way, that way. Okay. Towards yourself. And that will release the uh, reservoir from the radiator. Uh, yeah, so uh, we already got the sensor disconnected. We got this, uh, yeah, this doesn't need to be disconnected. Yeah, so let's just go ahead and uh, pull it up. All right, so you gotta do is just wiggle on it and it will pull right up. Make sure you got a spill bucket under there. And then just lean it forward. Kind of work it out of the way here. Okay. Here we go. So, this is what it looks like. I'm just gonna let it drain out into the pan. I do have a pan underneath there. Let it, uh, oh. Whoops, let that drip. So yeah, here's what this uh, looks like real quick. Yeah. Got a little bit of spillage. Oh well. Yeah, so there it is over the other side. Okay. Yeah, so there it is. You can see the thermostat just sitting right there just leave that there because we're going to replace it just leave it there for right now let everything kind of settle and then we'll come back to it and kind of clean up underneath here and yada 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 all right so now we're on the bench real quick and uh just wanted to have them side by side to do a quick comparison so here's the sensor right that goes underneath the bottom and so ultimately, if you didn't have a new sensor, you just pretty much take this one out, put it over here and, you know, just swap it over. Kind of like, you know, I did with the cap and stuff. But um, seeing that we do have a new sensor, it's really good uh, to get a nice new ceiling in here. Because I'm pretty sure this comes with an O-ring, stuff like that on the sensor. So, yeah. What happened with the old one? This one's the old one. If you can see right here. Let's see. It will focus. Yeah, you can see where the reservoir cracked right here. So, a big old crack in the side of it. So, yeah. And you also can see how the reservoir kind of like swole up as compared to the new reservoir. So, you can see how it's kind of expanded right here. You can, you can tell as to this nice straight line. And then this one's kind of deformed yeah it's like really fat even right here you can see it definitely swollen right here for sure just over time car got over a hundred thousand miles on it so i'd say for that much miles it's held up pretty long and it is an original bmw part and yeah so we're just gonna swap over some of the stuff on here and then uh, do just that